The universe is vast. It is filled with wonder and danger. In this digital age, we face new threats. One such threat is vishing. Vishing is a type of cyber attack. Criminals use phone calls to trick people. Vishing is like phishing. Phishing uses emails. Vishing uses phone calls. The goal is the same. Criminals want to steal your information. This information can be passwords or credit card numbers. They can use this information to steal your money. Think of it like this. Imagine a vast cosmic ocean. Your personal information is a tiny vulnerable vessel. Vishing attacks are like pirates, trying to board your ship and plunder your treasures. We must learn to protect ourselves. We must navigate this digital ocean safely. We must be aware of the dangers that lurk beneath the surface. Phishing attacks are very effective. This is because they exploit human psychology. They use our emotions against us. Criminals create a sense of urgency. They might say your account is compromised. They might offer a too good to be true deal. Fear and greed are powerful motivators. And when we are afraid, we don't think clearly. We might make mistakes. When we are greedy, we let our guard down. We might believe something that is too good to be true. Think of a black hole. It's immense gravity, warps the fabric of space-time. Similarly, vishing attacks warp our judgment. They create a sense of urgency. This urgency clouds our thinking. We must be aware of these tactics. We must learn to recognize the signs of a vishing attack. We must not let our emotions get the better of us. Vishing attacks are on the rise. They are becoming more sophisticated. Criminals are using new technologies. They are targeting individuals and organizations. Let's look at some recent incidents. In 2024, a major hospitality company was targeted. An employee received a phone call. The caller pretended to be from IT support. They tricked the employee into giving them access to the company's network. In another incident, criminals used Microsoft Teams. They impersonated a known client. They tricked a victim into downloading malware. This malware stole the victim's login credentials. These incidents show the danger of vishing attacks. They highlight the importance of vigilance. We must be careful who we trust. We must be aware of the latest scams. Vishing and smishing are on the rise. They are becoming more popular. This is because they can bypass email filters. Email filters are designed to block phishing emails, but they cannot block phone calls or text messages. Smishing is like phishing, but it uses text messages instead of phone calls. Both phishing and smishing are effective. They exploit our trust in phone calls and text messages. Think of it like this. Email filters are like planetary atmospheres. They protect us from most meteoroids, but some meteoroids are small enough to slip through. These meteoroids can still cause damage. Vishing and smishing are like those small meteoroids. They can slip past our defenses. They can cause serious damage if we are not careful. Section 5. Verification procedures. We must protect ourselves from vishing attacks. We must implement strict verification procedures. We must verify all communications. This is especially important for requests for sensitive information. If someone calls and asks for your password, don't give it to them. Hang up and call the company directly. Use a trusted phone number. Don't use the number the caller gave you. Imagine you're an astronomer. You wouldn't just trust any random signal from space. You would verify it. You would use multiple telescopes. You would consult with other astronomers. The same principle applies to vision attacks. Verify everything. 
Don't take anything at face value. Section 6. Employee training. Employees are the first line of defense against vishing attacks. They need to be trained. They need to recognize the signs of a vishing attack. They need to know what to do if they receive a suspicious phone call. Companies should provide regular training. This training should cover social engineering tactics. It should include vishing and smishing. Employees should be tested regularly. This will help to reinforce the training. Think of it like astronaut training. Astronauts go through rigorous training. They learn to deal with emergencies. They learn to operate complex equipment. Employees are like astronauts. They need to be prepared for anything. They need to know how to handle a vishing attack. Section 7. Multi-factor authentication. Multi-factor authentication, or MFA, is a powerful security measure. It adds an extra layer of protection. It requires users to provide two or more forms of authentication. This makes it much harder for criminals to access accounts. Even if a criminal steals your password, they can't access your account without the second factor. The second factor could be a fingerprint scan, a code from an app, or a physical security key. Think of it like a spacecraft with multiple engines. If one engine fails, the spacecraft can still reach its destination. Similarly, if one authentication factor is compromised, MFA can still protect your account. MFA should be enabled on all accounts. This includes email, banking, and social media accounts. It is a simple but effective way to improve security. Section 8. Staying informed and proactive. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. New threats are emerging all the time. It is important to stay informed about the latest threats. We must be proactive in our approach to security. Read articles and blog posts. Attend webinars and conferences. Follow cybersecurity experts on social media. The more you know, the better equipped you will be to protect yourself. Imagine you're exploring a new planet. You would want to learn as much as you could about it. You would want to know about the climate, the terrain, and any potential dangers. The same applies to cybersecurity. We must be explorers. We must be curious. We must be constantly learning. Section 9. Conclusion. Vigilance and proactive security. Vishing attacks are a serious threat. They exploit human psychology. They are becoming increasingly sophisticated. But we are not powerless. We can protect ourselves. We must be vigilant. We must be proactive. We must implement strong security measures. We must educate ourselves and our employees. The universe is a vast and wondrous place, but it is also full of dangers. The same is true of the digital world. By being vigilant and proactive, we can explore this digital world safely. We can reap the rewards of technology without falling victim to its risks.